Hello everyone, in this video I will go over my solution for the problem named power walking taken from today's code forces round. This problem teaches us how we can use the set or the frequency data structure which is basically maintaining the frequency of elements or maintaining the numbers in a set data structure. In C++ this is called as a map or a set data structure and this data structure is used in conjunction with an algorithmic process or a mathematical idea and we will understand how we can efficiently simulate the algorithm with the help of this data structure. So in this problem we are basically given an array of n integers representing n power ups. So in case you didn't understand the problem statement very well this is an abridged version and we are basically given n power ups, the ith power up is of type ai and the value of n can be up to 2 into 10 power of 5, the value of n can be up to 3 into 10 power of 5 and the ith power up is of type ai and we basically need to distribute these power ups, these n power ups to exactly k children for k going from 1 to n. So we basically need to first distribute these n power ups to one child and that basically means all the n power ups go to the single child. If k is 2 then we need to distribute power ups to two children and they need to be distributed between the two children. It doesn't matter um, in what way we distribute the in which way we distribute the power ups to the children. The only thing which matters is that the sum of the strengths of the children is minimized and the strength function, this strength function for a particular child is given by the number of distinct power ups the child has and this is the strength function for the cost or for the uh, strength of a child and this basically means that if you have a case where k is 1 so in the case when k is 1, this means that all power ups go to a single child and that's why the strength will be equal to the number of distinct elements in the whole array. In case k is equal to 2, this means that the strength, the total strength will be equal to number of distinct for the first number, for the first person. So let's say you assigned power ups 1 comma 3 to the first person. Um, let's say you have an example where you assigned 1, 3, 3 to the first person. Um, note that 1, 3, 3 represent AI. So these represent the types of the power up. And this is just an example. Uh, so in this case, the strength for the first child will be 2. And if you, have, if you have the second number, the second child, where you put some, uh, where you give him some values. So let's say, for example, he is given the power ups 2, comma 2 then in that case he has a strength of 1 and the total strength will be given by 2 plus 1 which is 3 and in general uh, we basically need to sum up the strengths for each of the k children for k going from 1 to n and we need to do this efficiently and now let's try to um, un better understand this with the help of another example because the examples will help us um, think about exactly how we can or come up with any algorithm for finding the number of or the sum of the number of distinct strengths and let's take another example so let's say we have three elements 1 comma 1 comma 2 so let's say n is 3 and the elements the array is given by 1 comma 1 comma 2 so in this case we know that initially when k is 1 this means that the first child gets 1 comma 1 comma 2 and this means that the answer or the strength is just equal to 1 and this is what we will print and if we take the example or the case when k is 2 then in this case what do we need to do let's think about that so in the case when k is 1 it's pretty uh, obvious that uh, the answer will be the number of distinct elements which is 2 because the strength is the number of distinct elements and there's only one child. 
in the case one case two we need to assign these elements into two sets so we need to break the set into two uh, smaller sets uh, set one and set two such that the sum of the number of distinct elements in the two sets is minimized and in order to minimize this value of the sum of the distinct elements we need to minimize the individual number of distinct elements so this is the key idea in order to minimize the total number of distinct elements we will minimize number of distinct for each set of elements and um, this is one key strategy which we will use this is one greedy idea which we will use and let's try to do that so let's see we are minimizing number of distinct for each set so by that logic we will place 1 comma 1 in the left set and 2 in the right set because 1 comma 1 ensures that there is only one distinct element in the set whereas 2 um, is an element with only frequency 1 that's why it should go in a separate set altogether and that's why even in this case the answer is 2 and we will print 2 for the case 1 case 2 however when case 3 we are forced to keep each element in its own set and that's why um, the answer is forced to be equal to 3 and we will print 3 so the output will be 2 2 3 that's the first test case the second test case where we have 6 elements so let's consider that example where n is equal to 6 and we have 6 elements 1 2 2 2 4 and 6 so 4 and 5 so these are the 6 elements note that another important thing is that these AI values do not matter only the distinct AI values matter so it does not matter whether you put the element to be 5 or the type of the power up to be 6 even if you replace the number 5 with 6 the answer would still remain the same because the number of distinct elements would still be the same and this is just a small note to make sure you are following the problem statement that only the distinct numbers matter the number itself do not matter so even if these three elements were not twos but they were threes even then the answer would not change and it does not really matter what the numbers themselves are so anyways let's go back to the problem let's say that we have this and again when k is 1 we know that all the numbers will come into one set and that's why the number of distinct elements in this set will be the answer so this is basically equal to 3 because there are 3 distinct elements in the set now let's go back to the case 1 case 2 so when case 2 we again need to split this element into 2 sets such that the number of distinct is minimized in each set and you need to keep repeating this to yourself and keep understanding what this means because this is the key greedy idea of this problem and this basically means that we need to ensure that all the twos come into one set and basically the numbers which appear a lot of times they need to come into the same set so this basically means that the elements which will go out of the set are the elements which appear the least number of times so in this case the elements which are in the same set are these these elements and 5 goes into the separate set and this ensures that uh, we are basically minimizing the number of distinct in each set and that's why in this case the answer basically remains equal to 3 and the greedy idea which we used at this point is the key greedy idea which we used at this point is that remove the number which, which appears with the least frequency and uh, move it to another set so this is the key greedy idea which we used so far and we moved this number with the least frequency to the next set and you will realize that this is another key greedy idea so let's label this as the second observation the first observation was number of distinctions is minimized in each set and the second observation is this greedy idea now let's continue with the example so let's say we take k is equal to 3 again we need to remove the element which appears with the least frequency and move it to the other set so we do that we keep these elements we keep the element which appears the most number of times in the same set and we remove the number which appears the least frequency and move it to the other set so this is the update operation which we will perform and that's why the answer basically um, doesn't change 
the answer remains 3 because again um, you are removing an element which appears with the least frequency so you can verify that the answer remains 3 then if we move to k is equal to 4 I'll be going a bit faster because you should get the pattern now if we move to k is equal to 4 we remove the number 2 and we basically get this 4 5 and still the answer remains equal to 3 I mean um, the answer was originally equal to 4 sorry about that small mistake the answer was 4 all along so in each of these cases uh, the answer should be 4 uh, sorry for that mistake and uh, sorry if you got a bit confused but at each step the answer is 4 because there are 4 distinct elements at each step however the next step is interesting the next step uh, makes the problem a bit interesting because when we remove the number 2 and move it to another set then you will realize that the answer increases by 1 because if you re remove the number 2 it no longer appears alone the number 2 basically forms another set of its own and that's why the answer will increase by 1 so the answer becomes 5 in this case and we will print 5 and similarly when k is 6 the answer increases again and it becomes uh, it becomes 6 and we will print 6 as the final answer in this case and you can verify that if you look at the samples then the answers are 4 4 4 4 5 and 6 and you can verify that these are the 6 numbers which I predicted and hence this greedy idea of each time removing the number with the least frequency and putting it into another set always works. The final observation required to solve this problem, which is the third observation, is that let's consider how many distinct elements are there in the array. So let's say we denote that by num distinct. Now the key idea is that initially when k is 1, the answer is equal to num distance because there are initially num distinct numbers in the array when k is 2 and num distinct is greater than or equal to 2 even then the answer will be num distinct this is because we move an element from the first array into the second we keep transferring the elements and we will always make sure that the answer will remain the number of distinct elements in fact for all k going from 1, 2, 3, all the way up till 4, which is the number of distinct elements in the array, the answer will be equal to num distinct. So for all k going from 3, all the way up till 4, 5, 6, all the way up till num distinct, the answer will remain num distinct. The reason being, each time we know that the total number of distinct elements is num distinct, and how, how, how much ever we transfer the numbers, we, we can always ensure that num distinct elements will remain in separate sets and within each set the elements are as equal to each other as possible. That's why when the number of sets are small enough, when the number of sets are less than or equal to num distinct, we can ensure that each number has its own set. So, for example, if num distinct is 3, then let's say that the array was originally 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, for example. In this case, there are 4 distinct elements. So, when k becomes equal to 4, this is what you will get. When k becomes equal to 4, you will get each number in its own distinct set. And this is why the answer will remain 4. And this is why for all k going from 1 up till none distinct, the answer will be num distinct. So this is the first key observation. Now the second key observation in the solution for the general case is that when k becomes equal to num distinct plus 1, this means that the answer will also increase by 1 because, because when you consider the number, let's say you consider a number 2, then in that case 2 needs to be moved to another array and 2 basically needs to be moved and shifted that's why the answer that's why 
the number of distinct uh, that's what the powers will increase by one the power will remain four for these four vectors for these four children however the power is five for the fifth child and that's why the answer is num distinct plus one similarly when k is num distinct plus two again we remove an element from from the vector and we will again create another vector in which the or uh, in which the power is 1 and that's why the total power will be num distinct plus 2 and in general for any k equal to num distinct plus x the answer or the minimum power will be num distinct plus x and that's why we get a simple algorithm in which we maintain the number of distinct elements then for all k going from 1 till number of distinct elements we will print this same value of num distinct and then for all k going from num distinct plus 1 up till n we will print num distinct plus x where x is less than or equal to n minus num distinct and in this way we can just use simple loops and a simple set data structure to find the number of distinct elements and to print this pattern so i hope you understand why this pattern is true and now i'll show you the code so in the code for each test case i take in the value of n i use a set to find the number of distinct elements and this set basically stores all the distinct occurrences and for each i going from 1 to n i take in ai and i insert ai into the set now we know that num distinct is equal to nums dot size because num stores all the distinct elements which each number appearing exactly once then one way to look at this is that um, this is one way to look at the expression you can have a look at this expression however the expression which i explained to you was for each i going from one up till num distinct we will just print the value of num distinct to the output and then basically we will print it with an endl and then for each i going from num distinct plus one all the way up till n we will print this particular value of i because as i explained for all k going from num distinct plus 1 up till n the answer is equal to k and we will print exactly that and you can verify this code gets accepted so as you can see my code gets accepted i hope you like this problem and my solution if you had any doubts do leave them in the comments down below and if you like this video and my explanation don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you